Hey guys, it is Friday, January 1st, 2016. Happy New Year. Um, I don't know about you, I know I'll be having trouble remembering to say 2016. Um, I always, you know, it's always hard to adjust to that, but it's really good. Um, you know, obviously I hope you all had a great year. I hope you had a good New Year's Eve. If you, uh, party, did anything, had fun, definitely. Um, I know I had a good time and yeah, so we got a whole new year to look forward to, which is pretty exciting. Um, writing update from me. I have gotten back to writing my current novel that still does not have a title, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I took a break after NaNoWriMo, just, you know, I needed a break. I needed to focus on school and finals and just, you know, get settled. And also after working so hard for a short period of time, it's nice to take a little break and rejuvenate and get refreshed and stuff. Um, so I started this week, I think, writing again. Um, and it's going really well. I worked on some plot stuff and you know, rewrote a couple scenes and finished up some chapters and stuff like that. So it is going really well, although it is going kind of slowly. Um, I have a plan. Last January, I, like last year, I made January another, you know, writing dedicated month. So I want to do that again this year um, with a slightly smaller goal just based on, you know, time availability and stuff like that. Um, my goal for the month is 7,500 words, which... I do feel pretty confident about. Um, like I said, it's a little smaller than my goals have been some other months, but it's just what makes the most sense right now. Um, obviously, I will try to go past that, but, you know, that's the minimum I really want to hit. Um, and that's about 240 words a day, a little bit more than that. So I definitely think I can handle that, and I'm looking forward to that, even with being on vacation and, you know, going back to school at the end of the month. I think I can keep up with that one. So that's exciting. Um... Next thing, I, a couple days ago, asked questions on Twitter about some books you read for 2015 and books you want to read for 2016, and I promised to give my answers, so I'm going to do that now. Um, one of, <laughs> obviously I was not going to ask your favorite book, because goodness knows that's way too impossible, um, but one of my favorite books that I read in 2015 is Hold Me Closer by David Lepitham. Um, This is a musical companion novel, basically, to this book, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which was written by John Green and David Levithan. Um, and in Will Grayson, Will Grayson, the, one of the characters puts on a play called Hold Me Closer. So, you know, a couple of years ago, David started and wrote the whole play. So that's exactly what this is. It's written like a screen, uh, not a screenplay, a script. Just kind of similar to a screenplay. So it's all in, like, script form and everything like that. Um, but it's really good. It's a really positive, inspirational story and humorous and stuff like that. And it's a pretty quick read. It's pretty um, short and, you know, page turner. Um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson is also amazing. You definitely can read Hold Me Closer without having read Will Grayson, Will Grayson and be totally fine. Um, I personally recommend reading Will Grace and Will Grace and first just because they are related but I mean honestly I think you could still enjoy Hold Me Closer and get a lot out of it without having read the you know companion piece. Um, one book I want to read during 2016 is The Demon's Lexicon. I actually know very little about this book so if anyone's read this or you know knows someone who has I'd love to hear from you what you think. It sounds really interesting the you know, description and everything. Um, I got it. The Harry Potter Alliance has something called the Apparating Library. So they'll do events. And if you donate a book, you get a, you know, little card to bring back. And then the next day you can go, or like at a different event, you can go and you can pick up a book in exchange for the book you donated, just like a library. Um, but since it's Harry Potter, it's apparating and it moves around. So that's the operating library part. So I got this on behalf of, in exchange for one of my donations. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. It is near the top of my pile. Um, and I'll hopefully get to it soon. Lots of books to read. Um, so yeah, those are the books I'm looking forward to. I'd love to hear more responses. Comment here, tell me on Facebook, tell me on Twitter. I'm pretty easy to contact. And yeah, so I hope 2016 is off to a good start for all of you. And I will see you in two weeks. Bye, guys.